Hey guys, welcome back to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. My name is Raj, and today for this Halloween special, I'm gonna be teaching you how to recreate this werewolf look. So stick around. So first things first, I prepped and primed my skin with Napoleon Complex Skin Renewal Serum and Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer because not to prime is a crime. Now let's start creating some werewolf-like skin. Today I'm gonna to be mixing Stick Foundation Look 4 with Kajal Eyeliner Nightfall. I'm mixing these colors together to achieve a darker, dull, monster-like skin. Now I'm gonna be using the 24R Buffer Brush to apply this mixture. For this to look real, I'm going to be applying it everywhere, including my face, my ears, my neck, and my hairline. So don't be afraid to build this look up. Um, and you need to start looking quite gray brown, like a werewolf. So if your skin looks human, you're not on the right track. So keep building and building and building it until you get to that really browny gray werewolf look, just like that. So using the stick foundation in look number four and 16R sculpting and contour brush, I'm going to softly highlight under my eyes, my cheekbone and the center of my forehead, just to bring some dimension to my face. So onto contouring, um, I wanna try and recreate werewolf-like forehead and brow bones. So I'm gonna be using the Kajal eyeliner in Nightfall to contour just below my brow. And I'm gonna draw this on first and then blend it with the Sculpting and Contour Brush 16R. Now to contour my nose, I'm going to be using the same product, but I'll be using the back of my hand as a palette. I'm gonna softly blend this down the sides of my nose so that I can start creating a wolf-like shape. I've used Sculpting Brush 10R because it kind of really helps me diffuse the product. So now that I'm done with my nose, I'm going to take the same color through my socket and onto my lower lash line to frame my eyes. Now to build up the intensity really quickly, I'm actually drawing the Kajal straight onto my skin and then I'm gonna go back and buff with the Sculpting Brush 10R. That's why I love this product because it's so easy to blend and you know anyone can really use it and achieve um, a great effect. So now that I've started my contouring, I'm going to build it up and diffuse it with Camera Finish Powder Foundation in Topaz N5 and Sculpting Brush 10R. I am obsessed with this color. I use this color in like every single eye makeover that I do. Um, I love to contour with it. It's such a beautiful powder. It's such a beautiful product. So I'm gonna be using the Sculpting Brush 10R to kind of lightly diffuse slash warm slash build up my contouring through my socket and under my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna kind of take it onto my forehead. This step looks better when it's not so perfect. So don't worry about being too precise. So onto my werewolf beard. Now you can purchase beards from uh, special effects makeup suppliers or you can buy them online. Before I glue it on, I'm gonna use my Kajal Eyeliner Nightfall to trace around the hairline so that I can color that that skin in in black. And the reason why I'm doing that is not only is it a good marker for where I need to put my beard, but it's also gonna stop any skin that shows underneath it looking really stark and a lot lighter than the hair. So once you've kind of scribbled it on all over that area, I'm using the 24 hour buffer brush to kind of buff it all in, even it out, and I wanna fade it up to nothing. That's gonna act like a little bit of a contour, but it's also gonna mean that my beard doesn't look like it just starts out of nowhere. And as you can see, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Now I'm going to get on to drawing on my wolf nose with my Kajal eyeliner. And you can kind of choose a shape that works for you, but because my nostrils are already quite broad, this shape really works for me. Next, I'm going to use Color This Queen of the Night to further enhance my contours and add more striking definition to my face. I'm using Sculpting Brush 10R again to um, work this product in just below my brow. Now it's time to stick my beard on and I'm using Spirit Gum Adhesive. And this is an amazing, amazing glue and it kind of just sticks anything onto your skin and it doesn't really irritate you. And you can find this on the internet or special effects makeup suppliers. I'm using just a, a synthetic concealer brush. This is Full Coverage Brush G12. And I'm gonna place my beard piece onto where it needs to go and I'm just gonna hold it gently there for about five minutes. Sometimes you need to wait for the glue to get tacky but it kind of depends on the weather so just play it by ear and have a little bit of an experiment and as you can see I'm really kind of loving that look apparently now I'm going to be sticking on some individual clusters of hair and this is really gonna help me grade out my beard to nothing um, just like a natural beard would kind of grow on the face I'm just using like an old wig that I found 
in one of our cupboards and I've kind of cut it up so that I can really control the amount of hair that I'm sticking on and I'm, I'm doing it individually. So this has taken me, you know, about half an hour to do, but with the magic of video, it looks instant. So I've given my beard a little bit of a zhuzh and I'm just kind of like teasing it up so that it looks quite natural. And now it's time to stick on my werewolf brows. So same technique, I'm kind of cutting little pieces of, um, or little clusters of hair and I'm just gonna stick them on group by group. And I've used a couple of different wigs that I found, like different colors to get a really textured look and more of a natural look because I don't want the hair to be all the same or it's gonna kind of look quite boring. Now that my brows are done, I'm moving on to my widow's peak. So wouldn't be a werewolf without a widow's peak. I'm gonna first draw this widow's peak on with my Kajal eyeliner in Nightfall. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to kind of even that out and buff it in. One of the reasons why I love this look is because you can customize every single element of it and create a really, really scary look. So don't be afraid to change or experiment with some of the techniques that I've shown you so that you can really make this look your own. As you can see, I've chosen to stick a lot of hair on my widow's peak but you guys don't have to use as much as me. I've also chosen to add more definition around my eyes with Color This Queen of the Night, but again, you guys can really choose how far you take it. And now it's time to make my eyes nice and scary. So I'm using lip pencil in Rococo Red to line my waterline. Ta-da! I've popped in some werewolf contact lenses and the red in the waterline really kind of picks everything up and ties everything in together. Well, that's me, I'm done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, give us the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. I'd love to know what you guys are going to Halloween as, so please leave a comment in the comment box below. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a happy Halloween wherever you are.